Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, sunshine uh, rather limited today with just a few peaks here and there, but more of it finally coming up for tomorrow. Take a look outside into mainly cloudy skies, dry streets in Providence. Can't say the same though for westerly. We've had this persistent little rain shower or actually heavy at times. Uh, for most of the evening, but it's cloudy and quiet temperatures that are in the upper 40s to lower 50s. These clouds will be dissipating. Uh, we've got some pretty good visibility in Newport as well. I do anticipate around like 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning for some fog to develop, but it will burn off rapidly. Sunshine winds out and it does turn into a decent day tomorrow. Temperatures now lower 50s in most areas. Boroughville at 51, Providence 52, New Bedford at 54, and Taunton now checking in at uh, 52 degrees. So nice on Thursday, make the most of it and probably the nicest day of the week as rain or wet weather is in the forecast for Friday and Saturday. So here we go again. The early call on this is that some steady rain on Friday, perhaps heavy at times and perhaps then lighter, but still showers and clouds on Saturday. Uh, Sunday would be uh, the drier day, but it will be rather windy. In fact, wind gusts on Sunday may be up to 30, 40 miles per hour in a cooler day as well. I right, take a look at the satellite radar composite, mainly cloudy across southern New England, little speckles of green indicating that there were a few isolated showers along the south shore. The system for uh, both Friday and Saturday, and when we look at the satellite photo in the loop, we're always looking for counterclockwise swirls, and you can clearly see that right there out across the upper Midwest. So this area of low pressure, this is tracking in our direction both Friday and Saturday. As it approaches, moisture is going to come up the coast as well on Friday. And the net result as early as Friday morning, we'll see some precipitation. So let's take this into the future, and let's just move this system across the Great Lakes tomorrow. We'll stop it there. This is noon tomorrow. Look how nice it is. Sunshine mid 60s. We bring this closer by Friday morning and at the same time there's moisture coming up the coastline. So by late Friday morning, Friday afternoon, showers, rain, heavy at times working in. The system draws closer Friday evening, Friday night, still painting some rain. And then by Saturday morning, area of low pressure offshore, maybe a little bit of a lull in the precipitation then picking up again during the afternoon and early evening with Sunday being drier. Let's backtrack to locally next 24 hours. Overnight tonight, it's mainly quiet and cool temps in the mid 40s. Pre-dawn, 6 a.m., middle 40s. Sunshine, uh, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. Sunshine mixing with fair weather clouds. Not as cloudy as what we had today. So a nice day, mid 60s. And then later tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, clouds on the increase, but still staying dry. So for tomorrow morning, there may be just a touch of fog very early, but that'll burn off rapidly. Sunny skies, 11 a.m., 62. And during the afternoon, sunshine and fair weather clouds. Temperatures in the middle 60s. Bay forecast, the wind out of the southwest at about 10 to 15. Visibility outside of any early morning fog should be uh, pretty good. All right, seven day forecast. Nice tomorrow. Here's the wet weather for both Friday and Saturday. Drying out on Sunday. Windy and cooler. Temps in the upper 50s. Chilly early next week. Could be a touch of frost. Sunrise on Tuesday morning. But looks good for tomorrow and comfortable too. Yeah, tomorrow looks great. Yeah. All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next.